I am Mad Morph, and welcome to my playthrough of Dodoin. In this one, we revisit our childhood and unlock memories and family secrets. It's a very wholesome and cozy and heartwarming game. This video is sponsored by Dodoin and Focus Entertainment. The game is out now on PS5, Xbox One, PS4, and the Xbox Series, PC, and Switch, so pretty much everything. You can buy the game by clicking the link in the video description. Thank you to the sponsors, please hit like and subscribe for more videos and enjoy this beautiful game. What is your first memory? Mine... Mine is somewhere in the last few months before my 13th birthday. Whatever happened before... is gone. Forever gone. I don't remember anything. Chapter 1. The House. This looks stunning, and the soundtrack is not what I expected for this. Digging it straight away. That sounds awesome. Also, my memory is terrible. How is your memory? Let me know in a comment. I have the worst memory. I don't remember a lot either, honestly. I don't remember last week. This dream. Again. My head hurts. And so does my back. Where's my phone? Must be dead. Open the bag. Track? Oh, nice. I feel like uh, I'm in the pages of a pop-up book or something. One of those interactive ones where you pull the little strands and stuff happens. From Fabrice. Where are you? Your mother's worried sick. Of course it's dead. As if you weren't. So, um, I'm almost at the house. <laughs> Quickly, for once. Let's see what he has to say. Daddy issues? As in most games? Such a common thread, isn't it? You know what I want. I want to be, I want to clear the house out. Nora left me a box. Memories. I need to find out more. That's not a knock, by the way. I think Daddy Issues are great for storytelling. What are you hoping to achieve? I don't want to fight with you. Everything has to be a fight with you. Everything's a fight because you think you're some kind of general. Doesn't matter. The removals people are coming on Friday to get rid of all the junk. Do what you want, but you can't change the past. <sighs> this isn't going to be easy. Come on, Mimi. You can do it. I should stop answering for now, or else he'll keep sending messages until I come home. In the same week, I lost my job and my grandmother, Nora, died. Oh, and my grandmother, Nora, died. And I got my hands on two letters. The letters. Dear Fabrice, I'm writing to let you know that in accordance with your mother's will and your recent phone call, the Dordon Duini house will be emptied next week. I would like to express how deeply sorry I am for your loss. 
Nora was a friend of mine. And I hope you don't mind me saying, but despite your differences, I know you cared as much for her as she cared for you. Please let my office know if you change your mind regarding the sale of the house. Given the current state of the market, I have no doubt you'll find a buyer before December. But a property like this should stay in the family. You'll find in this envelope a few words addressed to your daughter. Thank you for giving it to her directly. With my most sincere condolences, Simone Langlois. Yeah, I stole this letter from Dad. He was never going to tell me about Nora. About my own grandmother. But the other message, that was the biggest surprise. The other one. Big old specks on her face. Dear Mimi, okay. this letter will come as a surprise to you. Your father decided to cut ties with me 20 years ago. A choice I understood. But never accept it. This letter is about goodbyes. I will be gone by the time you read it. Mm. I've left something for you in my house. A box of memories and a letter. I hope you like to play and explore as much as you did the last time you visited Dordania. Always. Love a black cat. Favorite cat. Forever with you, Nora. but I don't remember anything. I wonder if... Would they hide the key somewhere? I wonder what's the deal with the memory loss. Something must have happened, right? Because... Oh, we're actually moving around in this game. Um, You wouldn't remember nothing from 13. My memory's pretty bad, but there's, you know, stuff. So wait, I can look at my phone whenever I want. Find a way to get into the garden. Oh my gosh, this is... So cool. You can read messages. Shrink. Your next appointment. Alex. Sorry, Mimi. Something came up. I walked past our Chinese restaurant yesterday. I thought about you. Let's have lunch there. Come and save us. Everybody misses you at the agency. I'm upset I was fired, but I'm glad I'm not there anymore. Hmm. And then the letter can also look through both of them. I love how it does that. How the hands are literally on the screen and stuff. It's great. And I can see something in the letterbox. Oh, a key. Someone must have dropped it in there. Well, let's empty that letterbox. Someone lost their cat. That's so sad. I read every missing cat poster whenever I walk, in case I see them. That's a really good deal if you need a power saw. You never know. Always well, good to have one on hand. October the 1st, 2002. To Nora's family. I just heard about Nora's passing. I want to share with you my deepest sadness. 
the whole town shares your pain, and we hope you'll find peace in knowing how much good Nora did since she moved to the region in the 50s. Sincere condolences, the mayor, Pauline Pribois, deputy mayor, Simon Aliqua, everybody at the town council, and the town Maka. Sure. Can't get my fingers through the opening, but the letterbox is loose. I think I can lift it and shake it. Damn, the key's stuck at the bottom. Let's see if I can take the back off the letterbox. Cool. Ah, oh, it looks so gorgeous, my god. Rotate. There you go. Thankfully, I had a screwdriver in the car. And the other one. So wait, am I actually... Hang on, push forward. Then am I doing little circles? Yeah. Got it. Let's grab that key. Got it. Okay. Yoink. Let me turn my logo off so it's just literally the screen is this gorgeousness. You collected the key. Now I'll be able to open the door. shaking. No context. It fits. Turn. Pull. So. Push, even. Here we go. I don't remember anything about this place. Yet, this house feels like home. Too bad I can't see a thing. From some... Find some light to look around. Can I use my phone as a light? Does it have a flashlight? I don't think it did in the day, did it? I need a light or I'll trip over something. Enough with the drama. I feel like we would never have used a phone for a light back in the day, but 2002, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Got any apps on here? Can we play Snake? Ah, oh, here you are. Ah, uh, 30, 32 matches. Zoom. <sighs> Keys, check. Light, check. Next goal. Um, the box Nora left for me. Stop talking to yourself, Mimi. Mimi's a cute name. Wait, this pen. Like, you can't not be a cute person with a name like Mimi. Wait. Remove the cap. What are we doing with this? <gasps> Remove the paper. Do you remember this pen? I knew you would find it right. Oh wait, it's Grandma. Do you remember this pen? I knew you would find it right away. Yours truly, Nora. I spent a summer writing with this. Writing. In my... Wait. I remember. Flash back in. Make sure she brushes her teeth. She's always trying to get out of doing it. Fabrice, I know how to bring up a child. I'm so cute. I'm glad she's here with me. We'll have fun, the two of us. That was before we moved to the States. 1982, I think. We have to go now. Mimi? Mimi! Yes? Say goodbye. I 
Thanks, Dad. For some reason, I thought he was about to go right off that cliff. Come on, let's get your suitcase to your room. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Unpack my suitcase in the bedroom upstairs. Zoomies. Oh, what's that? Hmm. A new sticker to collect. So wait, I can explore stuff. So tired. Gotta unpack first. Grandma and Grandpa used to do crosswords here in the morning. Hope I won't have to eat these. Who wouldn't want fresh grown fruit and veg? This is gonna be a long summer. Boring. Buttons. Oh my gosh, the way the camera moves and stuff. This is so unique. When you play something where it just looks different, it's just brings such a freshness, you know? I don't really, there's nothing wrong with games that look the same and do the same thing and do it well and tell a story within a formula, but this. Uh, Grandma. Go and unpack first, then we can have something to eat. Okay. Oh, why do I have to do it now? Open your suitcase. The latches. So. Ah, okay. Open the drawer and then put stuff away. Mum. Protect. Protective mum. So many sweaters. It's summer, mum. She's so annoying. Tiring dad. She keeps inventing problems and she's exhausting. Next draw. Hope. Boring. Hope. I hope the summer will pass quickly. So I'm actually picking. Words don't go together. Moving away. Or maybe they do. I wish I could spend it with my friends instead of coming here. What's this? What's that? Mum must have popped this in my suitcase. Whoa! That was cool. The boing. A map. That'll be useful if I can get out of the house. I'm actually gonna run around. Okay, I'd better go downstairs. Reach grandma in the kitchen. First day. I miss my friends. I love our oversized hat. Bloody amazing bit of character work, that is. Greetings from Mexico. Uh, Grandma, where's the kitchen? Wow, that's a cool black cat poster. I need that. I actually have a black cat art print. It's not quite as big as that. All done? Yep. Can I go play outside? It's dinner time soon. Ah. <sighs> Why don't you draw something? There's paper in the living room. Find some paper in the living room to draw. Ah, I don't want to bet to draw, stupid Gran. Your dad told me you had some work to do over summer for new school. Uh huh? Rubber duck. 
wish I stayed back in Paris. Paris, huh? So where? Oh, could there be something here? Yay! Okay. The binder. I couldn't find any paper, so let's use this old thing. Draw. Not seven anymore. What should I draw? A man. Oh, and then I have to drag it. That's cool. Parents. Always a safe choice. Holding hands. Why not? Have you finished? Yes, I have. What? What have you done? This... Uh, this isn't I for drawing. Know. It looked old and... Of course it's old. I've had it since before your dad was born. I, it's just that... I... Gran, to be nice to me. I'm sorry, Mimi. Sorry, silence. Listen. Why is this very quickly made me emotional? Listen. I didn't listen. It's all right, sweetie. You've never shown me that binder before. Is it a secret? I usually look it up in the attic. Oh. a lot of memories, actually. This bind is very important to me. Your grandfather and I, we used to write to each other through these pages. So it's precious. Yes. But maybe, you know what, why don't you take it? Grandma. Take it. Why? it wasn't meant to end. We used a binder so it would never be over. We could always add pages. That's such a cute idea. Do you understand? I think so. It's like a never-ending book. Promise me you'll keep writing and drawing in it. That you'll keep it alive. Would you like me to show you how to use it? First, you can write everything here you need to remember to do. Let's add the maps your mother gave you. This way you can't get lost. In my binder. We always kept the binder organized. I'm hoping you'll do the same. All the little memories you've collected are tidied and stored in here. Maybe we'll put some new stuff in this binder over the holiday. I'll let you explore by yourself. Stickers. Let's see. Words that I picked. Interesting. I got an achievement when I drew the picture that said loving family, so I'm assuming that was a choice to, if you didn't have them holding hands, maybe you get the opposite, you know? Chapter 2. The River. The Binder. I remember it now. Maybe the binder is in the box. 
the candle won't last forever. Let's open the shutters. Get more natural light. Mouse. Pictures of random people. So. Ah, feels good. This couch is old, but it looks extremely comfy. Pictures of strangers? hasn't changed. What's that? Nora's kitchen. Always spotless. Mm, something there. This room's a mystery to me. I can see some coins. into the wall. Pretty bright up here. I haven't been here in 20 years. Grandma left me a box. Should be my room, right? Kids watching are like, what's that thing? Letters. I'd better save them. I don't want the removal people to throw them away. A letter. Nora wrote to Edward. Oh, Grandpa. My dear Edward. This trip to Paris is wearing me out, and I miss our house terribly. Yesterday for lunch, I saw some colleagues from the agency. Michel says hi, Michel. I met some of the new architects, including a couple of very bright interns. The stench of cigarettes and cold coffee. The crumbled paper sheets. The tables covered in drawings. What a joy to find again these half-forgotten memories. I immediately felt a strange lassitude and went back to the hotel. I had to be rested to meet Helena. Fabrice's new girlfriend. Homework for the week is um, crowbar in the word lassitude. To your week, to your vocabulary this week. Tell someone that you uh, felt a strange lassitude. Oh, there's more. Dinner was in a small bistro in Port Melon. Oysters, because I absolutely love them. Helena comes from a wealthy family, but she is... Quite nice, if a little uptight. You know me, I couldn't stop teasing her about that, and Fabrice and I started one of our little arguments. If you'd been there, you would have found the right words to calm him down. I couldn't, so I lost my temper. Time for me to leave. Quite late. I would like to sleep before the next leg of my trip. Tomorrow is non. After tomorrow is quiberon. I will be back, as planned, next week by 4pm. Until then, I drop a kiss on your lips. <laughs> Come on, give Granny a kiss. You're Nora. Is this her as well? Okay, this is Helena. Thank God. My grandma's talking too much for me to be doing that voice for the next however long this is. 1978. I'm taking the time to write down these few words in the hope you'll be able to forgive your son. After our rushed exit from your house, I couldn't find the opportunity to tell you how sorry I was for the words he used. I know that Fabrice and you do not often agree, but I dare to believe that 
between a child and their parents, there must be a form of respect which should not be broken. I also believe that this whole scene was not a good show for my little Mimi. Obviously you have the right to see her. I wish for my daughter to have exciting and meaningful moments from her with her grandparents. She must grow up knowing she can count on you as much as she can count on us. I would request from you to not disclose this letter or its content to Fabrice. Daughter-in-law, Helena. <clears throat> nice. Back to the drawer. What? An old camera. My old camera. Cool. Retro. Unfold the f oh. Oh. Nice. Oh. Whoa. Clip them on. Wait. What way up would this be this way? So where would it clip? Here. Around your neck. Polaroids. So. There's something still so fun about those, like you get sort of modern retro Polaroid cameras now where it still does it and you buy the film and it goes in instantly and they're so fun. Like pictures that you get on those are the kind that you sort of take and put up somewhere. Something about digital is not as special. Oh. It works after all these... Just unlock a memory. Be that small and in a big I, bed again. Must be so comfy and nice. It was the first few days, far from home. <clears throat> Even in giant beds, I'm always gonna feel like I'm half off the thing with my feet, you know. This way, I can look in the binder. Get ready for the day. Okay, some clothes maybe. I put those in there. Or brush my teeth or something. Ah, there we go. Get dressed. Breakfast's ready. Time to go down. Have breakfast with Grandma in the kitchen. Oh, what? Sunbeam. Collecting words now, too. I guess we're collecting them and we're writing them in the binder, keeping it alive, like she said, right? Words and stickers. It's locked. Grano, uh, best be pancakes. I'm famished. Oh, wrong way. I want pancakes. I want bacon. The best be some croissant. New tape. I can listen to him. Can you imagine how miserable? Can you imagine how oh, miserable sorry, we'll be without these? Go for it. These what? These sounds. Listen to this engine. How it purrs. Edwa, get your head out of that exhaustion pipe, or it will fill your empty skull. What are you doing? Recording this engine's rumble. Recording a truck engine. <laughs> In the middle of the most gorgeous poppy field you've ever seen? These engines are disappearing, Nora. I've got to save them for the next generations. <laughs> Do you actually believe our grandkids will have less engine noises? Of course. In 20 years, maybe even sooner, cars will be silent. And they'll fly, right? Well, why not? We were born before fridges, freezers, and washing machines. Uh, I'll be by the picnic table. One day, she'll see how wrong she was. <laughs> Cute. 
I used to, it's a reminder, it's unlocking my memories. I used to record stuff all the time. Literally, I would plug like a little microphone into my stereo, had like one of those like classic little portable stereo boombox things and record onto tape in there. And I would do like my own radio shows and stuff or make up plays. I can remember doing one um, with my friend where it was like proper radio playing, doing the characters and stuff. And now here we are all these years later. I tell you, some things are just there and you just live by them, don't you? And like I said before, I used to record my own TV shows. <clears throat> I was lucky that we had stuff like that and a camera. And if I went to my grandma's house, then we would take a camera and I would rope my cousins and my sister at the time into doing um, like breakfast morning shows and like we'd be the presenters and like then it's like, I, okay, you is gonna be a musician and we is interviewing you, you is on tour, okay? Do you want a drink? What do you usually have at home? What do you drink for breakfast, guys? Let me know in a comment. Orange juice, apple juice, what's the best juice? Are you pineapple? Are you tropical? Are you having a coffee? Are you having a tea? Um, bitter. Sad. I drink tea. I would, I have a coffee, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the sad juice. Juice hurts my teeth. It's from a farm near here. Real apple juice. Hungry? I've made toast. Lost. Deep. Alone. Fear. It's got to be the strawberry jam. Either just butter on toast or... Oh, that's so satisfying very bitter. I don't like it. It's good, but it's not very sweet. I add very little sugar. The strawberries are from the garden. Can I have some cereal? I brought this cereal for you, but it isn't good. Dreadful ingredients. But I like it. Your mother insisted. It's full of sugar. Mimi, really. Uh, you can have a little bit, no more. Okay, cereal is pretty bad for you. But also, let kids have what they want. Pour the cereal in the bowl somehow. Up, down. Okay, hang on. Sorry, Grandma. And, uh, Mimi, you're making a mess. I'm sorry. I can't. <sighs> Dear, what's the matter with you? We need to take you to get your eyes tested. Your petition. That's I got it now. I'm gonna have a big, big bowl. Big, big bowl. Sound for my imaginary friend over here, Mr. Wigglesworth. Come on, that's enough, isn't it? Let's add the line. I've run out of cereal, bloody hell. <laughs> Come on! I told you cereal's really bad for you. I think I could have actually... I think I could have put the cereal down at any time. I thought I had to get it up to the line. <laughs> Mimi? I'm okay. You know what? In here, it's okay to not be okay. I hate here. Home. Friends. I want to see my friends. We're supposed to spend the summer together, sweetie. It's unfair. I know you miss your parents. Mm. And your friends. Yes. Let's go out. Let's do something. Just the two of us. What do you think? I would like that. 
Oh, is this she game gonna make me cry? Snapped or shouted, but she simply she gave me something. I feel taken care of. I could tell she was forcing herself to be nice. Reluctant grandma. I mean, I haven't seen that story for as long as I can remember. There's always a reluctant dad kind of trope in media these days. I remember but now. Reluctant grandma. We would be walking down to the river. She'd be quiet, lost in her thoughts. My father hated it when I did that. He probably hated his mother too when she was like that. The river, the pebbles, the cold, cold water, the dardagne. The thing. Yay! Riverbanks. Sticker. Oh, it's pretty. The view is gorgeous from the middle of the river, but here, take this. Camera. A camera? It was your grandfather's. Now it's yours. Really? Look around you. The view is spectacular. I'll get a picture from the middle of the river. really capturing the sort of the childlike wonder in some elements but also the bloody you know ennui of it all the overwhelmingness of childhood sometimes oh. all right Mimi first you have to focus on your subject okay Only then can you take your picture and voila. Let's get a good one. Let's get the balloons in there. Wish I could go further up. Look, we've got company. Why don't you take a photo of those hot air balloons? That's just what I was thinking, Grandma. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Which one do we like? Right there. Good. Okay. One last picture before we head home. That's a good picture, dude. I miss my calling. That's a good one, too. I think I like it better without the green one in. There we go. That's the that's the shot. Actually, just make sure there isn't a better one around. I think that's it. Ah, fantastic! Don't forget, you only have a limited number of photos. That's a memory unlocked too of um, having a disposable camera. Grandma, take a picture of you. Okay. When you'd be on a school trip with a disposable camera and you're like, oh, I've only got four pictures left, don't take one. What else can we get? Any fish? Do I, um, I don't want to use them all, so. <laughs> Again, I have to realize that I don't have to always take loads. Your holiday is off to a bit of a rough start. I do hope you're feeling better, sweetie. Yes, I think today was pretty good. Sunny. Fun is fun. I'm glad, sweetie. What kind of pictures are you going to take with the camera? You! A uh, kid wouldn't say that. Nature. The river. All of nature. You're part of nature as well, so that includes you, Grandma. 
Ah, uh, pictures of nature. There's so much to see, Mimi, my love. I tell you what, why don't we no note all your ideas down in the binder? Stickers. Poetry. I want to write some poetry. Poetry? What a good idea. What do you say we put headings in your binder? Create my first page. Craft your own page. Hmm? When you're happy with your page, you can move it all here. Create your first page. Okay. A writing page? Poetry. Of sad little girl. Write poetry. Enchanted by the weight of words. Poetry of a sad little girl. I'm okay. Words without value. No landmark. No compass. This is great. And then I can put stuff in there. I can put stickers in. Okay. And photos that I've taken. I want to modify the poem, though. Because... Momentary joy... Open my arms towards the sun. I observe nature. So good. I love that. That's such a cool feature. This binder was a connection between your grandfather and me. I think you would have loved seeing you using it. I miss him. I do too, my dear. I do too. Letters from the past, poems, pictures, postcards. Hmm? What's that? It's the cat. It's got a key. Hey, kitty. Oh, it must be Nora's cat. Why have they just left the cat she here if she hungry. died? What are we doing? Better adopt this thing. What's that noise? I'd better check. <clears throat> uh, how did you... Help them. I'll help you. Stay still. He's Winnie the Pooh. Very brave there. I must be hungry. And I need that key. The market. Someday, <clears throat> someday we'll get a game that portrays cats as lovely beings that don't claw you. <laughs> I need to be clever. This cat knows this place better than I do.
So I'm trying to find them. Spread the bushes. Hello, little kitty cat. Hmm. Professional gardener. This place. I remember this place. What a lovely little spot. I spy a hungry little kitty. Hmm. If I scare her off, she could disappear for days. A bit of food might do the trick. I'm sure Grandma has something for you in her kitchen. Find cat treats in the kitchen. Mm. Treats, treats, get some dreamies. Oh, little fishy treats. Sardines. Cats love them. Or is that a stereotype? What else do we have? My first studio flat in Paris was smaller than this pantry. What's that? Homemade cat food. Just like Nora, but it smells weird. She made her own cat food? How can I do that? Don't push yourself too hard, as your therapist said. You can't save everyone, little hobbit. Who's my therapist? Oh, you're saying that. She never said that. Cute. Oh, wait, what are these? Gotta like one of these, right? Industrial treats never opened. Nora wouldn't have used these. I should have enough treats now. Okay. I mean, I am one of those people where I only feed my cats expensive food, to be honest. It's still like a brand, but it's an expensive brand. I hope the cat's still hungry. Rather than just junk, because who knows what's in that super cheap stuff. Especially cheap dry food. It's not good for them. And I'm not crazy. Like, I have confirmed that with my vet. With their vet, I should say. <laughs> my vet. Well, I am a bear. It's fine. Hello, you. Here's the homemade treats. That's what you really want, isn't it? Boink. A cat of great taste, I see. Trust me, come on. I, I am that person that if I see a cat on the street, I will cross the road to get to it. Like, this is me. Constantly spending time. Like, I'll just, I'll literally sit outside with the neighborhood cats. My boys hate it. They get jealous when I come in and smell of them. And they don't like them at all. If they see them through the window, they go crazy. Purring. Best sound in the world. Yeah. Time to open the cave. Are you going to come with me? You're a big cat. You're a big old chunk. Big old chunker. This tree looks like it can keep a secret. So I wonder, is that for her room? Hmm, maybe. What does it say on my to-do? Open the cave door. 
Or cave. Best view in the house, I guess. Whoa. Big old tub. Oh, the cave was the thing outside, right? Where the cat was trying to get to, I think. First thought is just there's probably so many spiders in here. Yes, I'm in. Whoa. A kayak. Wait. Rings a bell. I've kayaked. <laughs> What's that? You're up. I was going to do some gardening. Will you help me? Sure. What's in that room? Nothing you'd be interested in. Get dressed and meet me outside. And brush those teeth. Brush her, brush her, brush her. Key. Somehow. Oh, oh. Get ready to help in the garden. So will I need to pull something to get up there or Or I guess that was the the thing of we never got that key, right? And then but now we do, now we're an adult. Oh. <laughs> it's like one of those games where you have to sort of walk or do like the stuff to get there. I'm gonna put it, hang on, how do I, oh, hang on. Um, all right, oh, there you go. Put it down. <laughs> Big old brush there. Perfect, and then pop that in there. And then, what are you doing? What are you doing with this? You, you don't rinse after you brush your teeth. You don't, child. What are you doing? Defeats the purpose of brushing your teeth. You, there's, that's a protective coating. You, you don't rinse with water in your mouth. And you don't use mouthwash. Just a little tip for anyone listening. Here's your tip for you. Is just, you, when you brush your teeth, you just spit and wipe your mouth like the outside. <clears throat> but that's it. Don't mouthwash at the same time and don't rinse with water inside your mouth. Okay, now what am I reaching for? The towel. Oh, my clothes, okay. I almost forgot my hat. I'm done. That house. How did I feel about it? I used to come, but... But something... My father and his mother became more distant. I did notice it back then. I felt that something was wrong. And they never spoke about it. Is that why I don't remember that summer? 
Hmm. What would make us forget something painful? I wasn't sure if you really wanted to help. I don't know anything about gardening. Then we'll start with something easy. Why don't you go fetch a trowel from the cave? A trowel? Oh, don't worry. It's a small shovel. You can't miss it. Find the trowel. I know what a trowel is. Tape. Let's have a listen. So, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, the train will soon leave the platform. Honey, do you know where my... What are you doing? I'm... I'm recording a message. For the train. Oh, that's a great idea. Why are you looking like I'm catching you cheating on me? I... I don't know. It, it felt silly to do it. Edouard, my love. Everything we do is silly. You run a toy train. I sketch impossible buildings. It's called retirement. Well, it's not exactly retirement, and you know it. <laughs> to me it is. Finally spending time with my husband and my son. What were you looking for? My fountain pen. Your... the one in your front pocket? My front po... oh. Uh, yes, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Trowel, there it is. This is a trowel. Grandma was right. It's like a small shovel. Trowel sticker. A kayak. Cool. Mimi, did you find the trowel? Yeah, coming. Oh, mysterious. And the word. You took your time. You're right. You have a kayak? Uh, yes, it belonged to your dad, but it's broken. Oh, I wish I could go kayaking. It's concentrate on gardening today, all right? I need you to pull out the weeds. Yeah, yeah. Pulling out some weeds with Grandma. Pulling out some weeds. Grandma, can you not sing whilst we do it? Sorry, darling. Dad had a kayak? Yes, he did. Your grandfather and your father used to kayak. Well, your father never really liked it. Oh, okay. Pulling out some roots. How did the kayak break? Smashed into some rocks on a day that the dawn was really rough. Smashed. So cool. Can we fix the kayak? I'd have to think about it. Uh. I think I finished. Let's plant something, shall we? Really? Of course. First we dig a hole using the trowel. First we sow the seed, then we grow the seed. Dig a hole. There we go. Let's choose a plant. Which one do you fancy? Um. I tell you what, I'm thinking the rose, honestly. A neighbor gave me a cutting from his rose bush. August is the best time for planting. Thanks for the tip, Nora. But what do you think of the thyme? Great for cooking and for herbal teas. 
What about sage? A favourite of mine. Perfect in tomato sauce. It's your favourite? Then I'm going to plant that one. I love it when you use it in your tomato sauce recipe. Let's plant this sage. And then every time you make tomato sauce, it'll be really special. Now we fill the hole with soil and make a little mountain to keep the plant stable. Okay. We're learning, guys. We're learning how to garden. Do you do any gardening? Let me know in a comment. What have you gardened? What have you grown? Wonderful job. To grow, a plant needs sun, time, and... Water. Exactly. When you plant something, you need to water it a lot. I feel like in another life, I have a gardening channel. Hello guys, today we're planting some sage. Now, this is great in tomato sauce. You're really gonna wanna get this in around the early spring so that it's nice and fresh. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. Excellent work. I was thinking, I need to get some things from the market and we could buy things to fix the kayak. Yeah, I mean, is it fixable? Oh yes. Uh, we would need a certain kind of glue, a waterproof one. Maybe some wood to fix the holes. Can we really do it? Yes, we can. Yeah. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Off to market. Uh, grandma is the best. Grandma is the best. Oh. Whoa. We left the house. We walked together. What a journey it was. Go to the market. Nora spoke about her life, about her travels. There was always a part of her that belonged somewhere else. I liked her. I can say it now. I loved that woman. So smart, so charming. And yes, sometimes her eyes looked sad. Wait, she went this way. Oh, I'm skidding. <laughs> a waterfall. I love a waterfall. Dad used to say that I looked just like Nora when I was daydreaming. He hated that, of course. He disliked his mother and never explained why. Hmm. It would seem like they just didn't get on, but... She was pretty reluctant with us at first. Maybe she was a hard mother, you know? Sometimes with grandparents, they can be like hard on their own kids and then they realize kind of the mistake they've made. So when there's grandchildren around, then they're really attentive. small we went to like the south of France and then in my teen years I went to Paris at one point and then a little later on I went to the French mountains to snowboard and those are the three times I've been to France and I don't remember the first one but otherwise I think the snowboarding was my favorite didn't like Paris too much. If I went back, I would go out to the country, I think. Market location. I've been to Spain a lot. 
Welcome to the market, my dear. So many people, it's crazy. I've told you before, we don't say crazy, but yes, it's crowded. Here, I wrote down what we need to buy. Is that a politically correct grandma in 2002? We don't say crazy, darling. Me? Mum never lets me shop by myself. She says it's too dangerous. I trust you. You're 12. I won't be far away. I'm just going to say hello to some old friends. I'm 12? I thought I was even younger than that. I look so small. Cool. I'll be back with everything soon. I'm teeny tiny. Whoa. Okay. Buy things from the shopping list. Shopping mini game. Where was that guy that was here? Oh, hello. Hi. He has cheese, butter, but no milk. Uh, hello, do you, do you have any milk left? I should have some right here. Oh, it's gone. Must be that damn kid. Oh, which kid? There's a thief around here and he keeps whistling. It's driving everyone mad. Poor you. <clears throat> I gotta catch a thief. Aw, oh, little duckling. A new tape. Listen to the new tape. They're so cozy. Is Edward the whistling thief? Oh, you're in a jolly mood today. I've been remembering our trip to New York, the Empire State Building, and all that. Uh, that was a nice break from here. You couldn't stop thinking about your garden and the flowers. Yes, I could. I... You know, maybe I did a little. I wish Fabrice could have come with us. He loves the state so much. Spending two weeks with his parents in a small hotel room in Brooklyn was probably not his dream holiday. Well, it saved us from a couple of arguments, and... Uh, what? No, nothing. I, I was just thinking that I missed him. Even if he does have your personality. Oh, yes, he... Wait, what are you implying? Nothing. <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> Cute. Hello. Hi. My grandma and I need some waterproof glue. And also some pieces of wood. But we're fixing a kayak. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're too lame. The last tube I had was pilfered a few minutes ago. Pilfered? Yeah, stolen. I'm sure it's that little rascal. A kid your age. A right little pest, if you ask me. Oh, okay. Thank you. They're stealing everything I need. Uh, good morning. I need some rhubarb. But I'm not sure what it looks like. Those branches over there. Is it for a pie or jam? I don't know. My grandma just said rhubarb. You'd better take the green and the red ones then. Don't let them sit around too long before you eat them. Anything else? No, that's all. May have a great day, little lady. Rhubarb. I tried a new rhubarb drink the other day. I think it was Starbucks that I got it from. Apple and rhubarb. And I suddenly just went, you know what, I fancy that. Rhubarb's quite nice. In a flavor sometimes. Well, I got the rhubarb at least. Weird. New word. So, tomato seeds. 
to sell your tomato seeds. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Hello, sweetie. What can I do for you? We need tomato seeds. Oh, you're Nora's granddaughter, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Well, so nice to meet you. I think these are the seeds she wants. Thank you. I guess I gotta find the teeth if I want to get anything. Oh, I need a baguette too. Meow. So cool, man. Running around literally what feels like a painting. Gorgeous. What's happening here? Crowd. Cats! Hi. Where's the boulangerie? Hello. Hello. I'd like a baguette, please. Sure, here you go. Thank you. Oh, you're so polite. Have a good day. Baguette. Wet. Uh, no milk, no glue. Oh, I should go back to Grandma. And before Grandma's the little kid that's been stealing everything. <laughs> I'm a little pentomaniac, baby. I get it for free. I sent you in as a distraction. Granny's got some sticky fingers. Granny likes a little five finger discount, you know what I mean? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Do you have everything? Almost. I haven't got milk. We can get milk somewhere else. Or glue, or wood. Oh, Mimi. Some kid stole everything. A kid? Maybe he's still here. What do you know about a little thief? He whistles. That's all I, that's all I know. Let's find him. Yes? Yes. I need to take a picture of him. Quick, Mimi. Why well, do I know where he is? Who's the thief? Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 Okay. Got him. That's so fun. Grandma tears it up. Now here's a lesson. What do snitches get? You scared the thief. He dropped his bag. Wow. Everything he stole is in it. Probably needs to eat. Funny. Now that I think about it, it's like she knew who the thief was. Why don't you take back all the stolen stuff? I'm sure the sellers will be pleased. Good idea! Thank you, Mimi! Well done, Mimi. Let's head home now. I remember now how good it felt. Helping other people, giving up my time for them. Mm -hmm. How come I'd forgotten all that? And that one? That's not a star. Look how fast it's moving. It's a satellite. Wow. And the big blue star over there? That's Sirius. The brightest star we can see. Just like you. Oh, I'm not a star. Almost. Tell me, how was it today? How do you feel? I feel... Awesome. Today was awesome, but tomorrow we'll fix the kayak and I can't wait. I don't blame you. Oh, imagine just hanging out with your grandma looking at the stars, man. I miss my grandma. Garden. It was so nice to work in the garden with you. Your help was very much appreciated, young lady. 
What about the thief? Yeah, I want to know more. I'm so glad we managed to stop that thief. You and your camera. You're like a proper reporter. The first half of your holidays is over. <gasps> Already halfway through. I'm sure the second half will be even better. I know it will. We're getting along, we're bonded. What's wrong? I mean... What's wrong? Mimi, are you worried about something? Never to my voice. Thinking about the th thief. I wonder if he was forced to steal or if it was just a game. Ah, oh, well. Another mystery to solve for Mimi. The brilliant reporter. I'm not a reporter. That binder of yours is like a newspaper, right? Okay, maybe you're right. By the way, time to do my page. Cute. Crafting another page. Let's start with the picture, I guess. The only one we took of the kid in the back. He is but a little duckling. Running, running, running. The crowd. The sea I drown in. Diving into what's mysterious. Welcome freshness. <laughs> Welcome freshness is totally the tagline of some deodorant or something. Welcome freshness. is up there, in the attic. Wow. Don't feel too well. Maybe a cup of tea. British response to everything. Put the kettle on. You can't be serious, Mimi. You need to find a job, not clean that cursed house. Cursed? How? the market. I remember. Mm. Cleaning is next Friday. That's my final word on the matter. Whatever, Dad. Like, the worst thing can happen in a world, in the world, and if you're hanging out with a Brit, they'll be like, should I make you a cup of tea? Your mother is worried. She can call me. Chill, daddy -o. So where do we keep the tea here? Where's the tea, Grandma? Oh. My dear, dear Nora. A thousand thanks for your visit in Mexico. We miss you terribly and your smile as well. As we discussed, I prepared for you a little package with gifts from my country, which I hope will make you want to come back. Careful with the chocolate. It's extremely bitter. An acquired taste. Before our meeting, I had doubts about my work and my agency, but your trip has changed our life. Know that our home will always be open for you here in Mexico. Isadora y Mateo. What really happened between them and Nora, and me, that summer? Get some water. I love how intricate it is. Yeah. 
Well, you know, it's only you, Mimi, so you really shouldn't fill the kettle the whole way, because that is enough for ten people. Only boil what you need. Think of the polar bears. Thank you, Nora, for sticking to old-fashioned kettles. What? This is old-fashioned? What? what else is there? Let's have the heart mug. This looks like a good mug. White tea and rose. Looks like she made this one herself. She made her own tea. Orange peel. Is that sage? The sage that we made. Time. Well, let's have the one with the sage that we planted. Because that was her favourite. No, it wasn't easy. Maybe that's the issue. Two very strong personalities, and there is that thief. What happened? What happened exactly? I don't use a tea infuser, I just get tea bags. Poor. Oh, well, she's still messy. Unlocked sniper. I guess I didn't miss a drop after all. Looked like I poured it everywhere. <sighs> the tea's too hot for now. I'll drink it later. Time to check the attic. Just take it with you. The agency fired another copywriter today. Todd, the British guy. <gasps> Not the Brit. I liked him. Where be the attic? Nora used to put the key right there. Funny how this key stayed there and that I grew up and this house hasn't changed as much as I have, I guess. were geeks. Did they use that word in 1982? Maybe back then it was normal to have an entire room for your own train set. This is, um, so cute. Did I paint these? I don't remember. A keypad. Maybe it opened something. Knowing them, my grandparents probably invented some sort of weird game. I'd better look around. It's gonna be a code or something. Enter the right code, okay. Nora, difficult week here. Kids agitated at school, a lot of tests to review. Fabrice ran away again, found him at the station waiting for a train. He didn't know where to go exactly, but he wanted to disappear. We talked as much as we could. You know how much he looks like me, but he kept quiet. I did too. On our way home, we stopped for an ice cream on a little beach near Rokkengir. I thought of you because I know you would have found a way to pierce his thick skin. In a tree above our heads, a leaf was suspended, held up by a spider web. The leaf was curling on itself, but refused to touch the ground. I looked at it for so long, Fabrice saw me, and he stood up and ripped the leaf off and sat back down to finish his ice cream. Keep telling us your wonderful Mexican adventures. They are heartwarming. Your beloved, Eduardo.
What else do we have? So she went off to Mexico for a bit. Maybe he felt abandoned. Tapes. Maybe they'll give me the code. Ah. So it's like, what order they go in? Probably should listen. So calm today. Autumn is upon us. I love the sounds of autumn. Everything sounds so crunchy. What are you doing? Still recording, Edouard. Listen to his footsteps. Here, like this. It's chilly. Oh, that's sweet. Well. Sometimes it's my turn. <laughs> it is, my love. Did you call the tree guy? I will. There's no rush. That cherry tree is dead, Nora. It needs cutting down. I know. Autumn 78, before Grandpa's death. I remember so little of him. Oh, feels... This one. They have such nice voices. I could listen to these tapes all day. Let me. Here, hold the mic. I know how a recorder works, dear. <laughs> of course you do. Move it closer to the fire. Otherwise Mimi won't hear it. Oh, that's lovely. I love that cherry tree, you know? I know. Nothing beats a good old fire. Hmm. I agree, my love. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas 78. Dad cancelled last minute. He said Grandpa was tired. Okay, so that's Christmas. So we're going by the season, so Christmas will be at the bottom, right? At, yeah, there. Autumn. So this must be spring. Makes sense, right? Edouard, I'm recording. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Are you all right? I am. <clears throat> Something in my throat, I guess. <clears throat> sorry, dear. Oh, don't worry. Look up there. Let's, uh... A Montague's Harrier, I think. Bird of prey. Superb. It's migrated from down south. Oh, I love the spring. So many new things to look out for. Mm. The flowers are out. Did we book the guy for the cherry tree? Edouard, stop worrying about the cherry tree. We'll prune it in due course. I'm not worried. I want the garden to be safe when Mimi visits us. Spring, their favorite season. Cute. So I guess it goes seven, five, two, four. Let's find out. I feel like, or would it be as simple as just the seasons? No. Mm -mm. Wrong code. So it's going to be maybe it's like Christmas first and then. Because maybe I have to listen and they're talking about the cherry tree instead. Maybe that's the answer. So they wanted the tree pruned in spring. And then. I think maybe they did nothing till Christmas about it, and then it was like dead in the autumn, wasn't it? Seven, five, four, two. Let's try that. Okay, so seven, two, four, five. 
Here goes nothing. Trains. Oh. Because I put the bridge up. Oh. I needed to put it back down. This stuff's ancient. It rings a bell. Put the bridge down. I want to watch it. train go around because I left the bridge up. would be so fantastical as a kid. You would, I mean, even as an adult, but as a kid, you'd be like, uh, this is the best room ever. Wow, I didn't know Grandma was like that. Nobody's gonna believe me. Oh, look, it's before it's painted. Before. Before we painted the loin. real train. Whoa. No, even better. What's that thing? Yay. Look how much cleaner it is. I can record sounds with it. That's so modern. Maybe I can record the train. Please tell me she isn't, like, accidentally recording over something that's special to Grandma. That was the thing with tapes and VHSs, like, you've got some film on VHS and someone records a TV show over it. something else. Some other sounds. I try keeping it central the whole time. Oh wait. I didn't hit capture button, sorry. So lovely. I wish I could go back home by train. I should take a picture from this awesome place while I'm here. Good. Oh, take the camera out. Nice. Hmm. Wish we could get closer.
<laughs> oh, sorry. The door was open and... It's all right. This place is a very special place. Your grandfather and I used it to express ourselves. Since he passed away, I... I've kept it to myself. It's a bit like a temple, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's not good to do that, I think. Places, objects, they should have many lives. Just like that tape recorder you found. I should have asked. Perhaps, but now it's yours. Would you like to come down and help me fix the kayak? Yes! Aw, that's cute. I thought I was going to get in trouble. Places, objects, should have many lives. Kayaking. Is that a real verb? Repair the kayak. Are you ready, Mimi? I think so. Come here, let's fix the kayak. Oh, something, something, another tape. Mimi, extraordinary reporter. I am here in the cave to ask a question to my grandmother. Oh, a reporter. <laughs> what can I do for you? Grandma, what is a trowel? A trowel? A trowel is a small shovel. A hand shovel, if you want. Perfect. This one has a funny story, actually. I did not mean to click stop. Mimi, ex Well, I guess we're never going to hear that story. <laughs> I was muting to cough, and I accidentally hit the right click mouse button. And the mystery of the trowel will remain forevermore. Fill in your own mystery in a comment below. We'll start by fixing these holes. We wouldn't want you to drown. No. Use glue. So. Ah, I guess this one fits. And then we got a big one. Okay. And a little Tetris one. Why did you learn to do all that? Mum isn't very good with tools and stuff. I enjoy it. It's as simple as that. I meant, I meant someone must have taught you how, how to do stuff. I don't like to be dependent on anyone. I learned. I taught myself. I wish I could be like you when I'm older. And I hope you will become yourself, sweetie. And now the most par important part. Let's paint this beauty. Paint. Of course, it's yours. It should have your colors, your style. Yeah. Meow. Painting's always relaxing. You need more paint, sweetie. Dip it in, dip it in. Spump. And then we put our hands on there. Sometimes I wish I could just glue people back together. Like Grandpa and Dad? Yes. Too late now. Nothing, nobody can fix that anymore. It's all good. She's ready. Let's get her down to the river. I'm so excited. Where are we going? There's a small beach further down. You can't miss it. A beach. Keep the boat steady at all times. The Dordogne is a very quiet river, but you never know. I promise. Brave letting us just go in here. Thanks, Grandma. Oh, you're coming with me. Okay. Oh, this is so nice.
into there. Look at that. Nice. I could have had that be so much longer. for the southwest. The next few days will continue hot and sunny with temperatures up to 36 degrees Celsius. Oof, that's hot. Enjoy it while it lasts, as the low pressure area over England might be heading our way. 36 is mental. Ah, this feels good. Oh, that's right. This feels good. Cute. You were right, Grandma. Napping is good. Napping is life. <laughs> Napping is life, Grandma. Put it on a shirt. I don't want to explore. Time to get up. Get up. Yay! Picnic and cliff. Oh, whoa there. Oh no. We need to pick all that up. Help me, Mimi. Of course. Let's check if we've got everything. I'm missing some cutlery. Maybe they're in the water. Go and check. The water's too cold for my old bones. I'll go. My swimming costume. Can I run up here? It looked like there was something to do there. <gasps> oh, it's so good. The water's so good. She's missing out. things. Man, I'm, this reminds me of Animal Crossing when uh, <laughs> the diving update came out every day into the water, diving down in the bubbles. Can you see this fish? Still looking for a fork and a knife. Some sort of splashing clue as to uh, where they are. Aha. Wax on, wax off. Have you got it? I believe so. Come 
Come on, let's go home. I'll get the kayak ready. <gasps> Mimi, what's wrong? The teeth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I saw something in the forest. He's like, there's the Can little I go snitch. And have a look? It was probably just a cat, but go on. No problem. Have a yeah, good time. I will. Thank you. Investigate the shadow in the trees. Yay! I'm ready. Off we go. Good chase, little Mimi. Climb the ivy. I'm the queen of the castle, you're the dead to rascals. to go out and explore a French mountain. and ladders. Are we going to swing on that vine? Like we're Lara Croft. Amazing. what this story is going to be with this kid. I mean, I'm assuming like stealing for food and stuff. Like, he needs to eat. It's got to be some sort of wholesome thing. Right? This is wow, beautiful. I should take a picture. What are you doing here? This is my patch. No one's allowed. You're the thief from the market. I'm not a thief. Never see that word again. I'm just borrowing. Borrowing? That's not... They'll get their things back, and more, as soon as I find the Coulobre's treasure. The Coulobre? A 
giant dragon that sleeps at the bottom of the Dordogne, guarding a big treasure. Enough to pay back the people from the market? Enough so everyone will like me. He'll see. Do you need help? To find the treasure, I mean? Help? <laughs> You're from the city, right? How could a city girl help me find the Culobre? I'm an explorer. Ha! Don't make me laugh. If I wasn't an explorer, I wouldn't have climbed up here by myself. Fine. Fine. Well, maybe I should test you. Test? There's a puzzle in here. Solve it. And I'll decide if I can trust you, city girl. But first, catch! <gasps> what? Uh... Mimi, are you all right? Don't worry, I'm fine! What is wrong with you? He's gone. Batman. Let's meet in my secret lair tomorrow! If you solve my puzzle! <laughs> I'll show him! He'll see if I'm not an explorer! I need that bag. Oh, thank god it didn't make me climb all the way down. Get it. Why don't you come back to the beach? This whole mountain, every rock, every bush. Delightful. How did you find this spot? Pretty nice, isn't it? It is dangerous and wild, but it's also beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm so glad you like this place. I wouldn't want to leave ever. I used to come here often with your grandpa and your dad. miss him. Feels crazy to say that, but I miss him. Don't say crazy. I think I understand what you mean. There's got to be something to this anti-crazy thing. Like someone had a breakdown or something. Your father's a... Uh, you know what, just enjoy the moment. I'm tired. home we get that lovely view. Yeah, the way grandma just like dips her hand in there and just feels the water just experiencing you know. As scared as I am of water when I was young I used to love getting a rowboat on the river. It was like one of my favorite things like it was so exciting if we went to the river I'd be like ah can I get a boat? And just like rent these rowboats. You can just go out for an hour or two and just. I don't know. I loved rowing around. I forgot to buy eggs for tonight's dinner. I'll go to the neighbors. What are you going to do while I'm there? My binder. Oh, good idea, sweetie. Okay. Now that I'm alone, let's see what that dirty thief wants from me. What's that puzzle you want me to solve? Open the bag. So, let's take everything out. 
instructions. Stickers. Probably for this map. Let's read this little note. Step one, put stickers in right location. Okay. So, this is us. So the balloons are by the bridge, aren't they? This is where Grandma lives. Okay. That's where they are. Boats on the river. Okay. And the market okay. was here, wasn't it? Okay. Which means you are here. Okay. And you live there. What's next? Connect certain stickers and reveal my lair where the lines cross. Stones cannot fly. Does that mean you connect them? Almost there. Across the bridge you'll find my house. solve this. Uh, this is a puzzle for babies. Now I need to tell the thief I solved his puzzle. I should climb to the top of the tree and try and call him. Climb in the tree? The tree that holds secrets. That's what we said earlier. I think I found you. No way. Adventurer. <clears throat> so I missed the first word. Told you I was an adventurer. Well done. Thought I would get to click it. I'll be there tomorrow. We can discuss the Calubre. Great. Tomorrow. Oh, I know where to go. I'd better hide the map in here, then I could do my binder. All right. I like this one. It's a slight angle. It's nice. Get some records playing. And my poem shall be Queen. We are the queens of the Doinly. The Doinly. It's like, um, that would be a good album title, honestly. And. <clears throat> and I think that I miss my dad. Kid poetry. And by Mimi the Adventurer. Cool. Cute. Mimi, dinner time. On my way. What a day. Wow. Caves. Pretty sure Nora left it right where it was. about you. Come home. I want you to be happy. Love you. Love you too. <clears throat> Stuff. 
stuck in the metro, tired of this city, dreaming about running around in that cute little house of yours in De Doyne. Wait, it is your house now, isn't it? In the process of finding out. I don't know what this is. Did we not see this? Hey Manuela, my name is Mimi. I'm seven years old and I'm uh, writing this from the garden of my grandmother, Nora. Uh, she told me she was going to translate this letter into Spanish, a language you understand. I speak only French, even if my father wants to move far away country, he thinks Paris is crazy. Sometimes he'll shout at other drivers, a friend at Funnel. My grandmother, Nora, says she knows your parents and you live in Mexico. I would love to visit another city than Paris or Salat. I love your city because it has an X in it and it's a letter I love. I must leave now. We're going into a cave with old drawings. My father loves everything old. Maybe not Nora's house. Maybe my father doesn't like houses. See you soon. Mimi. Everybody calls me like that. Little pine cone man. Made it together with Nora. This rings a bell. The dragon. What? There must be something interesting in here. I mean, this is interesting, and it's on its own, isn't it? This just suddenly got really fantastical. Have a chapter in the child's imagination. It'd be pretty crazy. <sighs> Grandma should be calling me by now. Where is she? Sounds like Grandma's downstairs. And sleeping. She probably fell asleep reading that huge book. Snoozing. <clears throat> How comes when you're not trying to like sleep or something, snoring can be cute, but if you've ever heard someone snore and you're trying to sleep, it's like, shut up, you know? But like, that's cute, old lady just, having a little snore. But if you were trying to sleep in the same room as that, nightmare. I wonder if there are people who like snoring. You know, like that's their white noise. That's what they put on instead of Down to Sleep, the podcast where I read audiobooks to you. Down to Sleep on Spotify and everywhere you get podcasts. And it has its own YouTube channel youtube.com slash down to sleep but there might be some people out there who are like go to youtube and instead of going to down to sleep to listen to me read books they look they look up 10 hours of snoring asmr take a picture beautiful Called the cockerel. Can I record the bell? thing. <clears throat> I remember once reading a story about how this um, famous... I was so carefree. 
off to meet a ten-year-old thief. <laughs> I feel like I'm remembering someone else's life. I mean, imagine having this great adventure and then you never remember it. I really wonder what that's going to be about. Um, a famous English footballer, Wayne Rooney, that he sleeps with a hoover on next to his head. <laughs> uh, it still cracks me up to this day. Like, at the time, I thought it was so strange, right? And I, but I get that that's like the white noise that he needed now, but also... Get a white noise machine. Get, you know, put a recording on. He literally would just have the hoover in the room next to him and turn it on and sleep next to it. Like, that's actual psycho behavior. What do you like to sleep to? Other than my podcast, obviously. Personally, love rain sounds. Love, um, sounds of waves, like slow ocean waves. A lot of that is going and staying a lot by the beach in Spain when I was kind of like growing up. Not super young, but sort of from seven onwards, probably until I was like 13 or something. When you go somewhere by the beach, it's just that constant like, like really rhythmic, just comes in and comes out. And it's when you leave, it feels so silent because you're so used to hearing. It becomes like a background sound. It must be so strange for people who live there. I mean, I would just go there for a week, two weeks. It must be so strange to live by the ocean or something with waves and you just hear that constantly. Anytime you go somewhere away from the water, it must be, you must constantly be in a state of this strange sensation of how quiet it is. And I guess it's like that for anything. You grow up in a city, you go out to the country, you're like, wow, I can hear peace, I can hear quiet, I can hear birds. If you grow up in the country, you go to the city, you're like, what, this is so loud. So what was your experience with that? Drop some stories in the comments. What were the sounds of your growing up? This should be the right place. I can't see anything. I'm going to need something to light the way. Oh, we're going to catch a firefly. These games always have fireflies here, and I've never uh, seen one. Get in, get in there. Get in there. Keep the family together. Would that actually work? Could you actually use fireflies as a light? In a, in a bottle or something? up there. Yeah. The adventure begins. I can give him that voice because he doesn't talk as much. I'm glad I didn't give Mimi that voice. Yeah. Hey thief, what's your name? Uh, my name's Renard. Whoa. Renard. Renard. Yes? Sorry, I just wanted to shout your name. Alone. Yeah. Are you still there? Yes, why? The lost city girl. <laughs> this place is huge. Don't get lost. How cool. I 
don't believe you've never gotten lost. Never. I mean, no, never. Bats. Oh, like. A bad man. That's so. Uh, a bat like he, the kid thinks he's Batman, right? And his whole disappearing act, and then the bats, this is his bat cave. That's so cute. <laughs> I guess you met my flying friends. <sighs> I knew I shouldn't trust a thief. don't know me. It's the fact that he wants the treasure so people like him is, like, very sad, actually. He didn't even say, oh, I'm gonna be, you know, spending money on this. It's fine. I'm used to it now. He just wants to be understood, to be seen, to have friends. But we all... Say hello to the Kalubra. Legendary. Come on, Mimi, hurry up. <sighs> Thanks for your help. I thought you were a great explorer. I am. Wow, this is... this is very, very cool. I know. These are things I collected through the years. And you haven't seen anything yet. Hmm. Yay! I like that little yay sound. I got good taste, right? Go on, keep looking. The book. Yeah. The dragon you want to find. I want its treasure. What is this Ku Kulubre anyway? It's a creature that sleeps at the bottom of the Dodoni River. It eats boats, sailors, fishermen. Scary. How big is it? It's as long as the Dodoni. It's going to be hard to catch. Why don't you take the book with you? Uh, so you can study the Calubre. Good idea. Why did I never give this back? That's... That's the best spot in the whole of the Doin. I need the best lookout to track the Calubre. From up here I can scout the whole river. I wanted to hunt monsters when I was... I was gonna say young, but I was literally a teen. Oh, I think I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Oh, yes. It's funny, because I'm literally the most not outdoors... outdoorsy person. <laughs> when I was, like, I don't know, 14 to 16, 
I was like, I want to prove that, like, Nessa exists and stuff. I was going to be one of those people. I still am one of those people, goddammit. And I, um... When we had a careers meeting, I told that to the careers interviewer. I said, I want to hunt monsters. And he was said, here's a leaflet on getting into marketing. Where the donkey at? something even cooler. Cooler than this? You have books, fishing rods, and a wonderful view. This is truly remarkable. Look at this beauty. <laughs> I can cheat in class, and I can even store ten phone numbers. Ten! Whoa. No way! Can I see it? No, you can't. It's, uh, it's a gift from my teacher. Oh. But it's a secret. You can't say a word to anyone, okay? You're very lucky, Arno. And I won't tell a soul. Thank you, Mimi. That means a lot. Friends. So I have an idea. How about we practice the scream the Calubre makes? To attract it? Yeah, exactly. You read my mind. Wait, we should record ourselves. We could set up a trap or something. Ah, uh, that's even better. Repeat after me. <laughs> e oh, oh, okay. oh, oh. E e e e e <laughs> Poor kid struggling. This high note. It's gonna be angelic. Wow, you're so much better than I am. <gasps> it's the menu music. Oh, that going full circle like that just like actually hit me like I felt that that was so cool because I sat listening to that menu music whilst I was setting up to record and it was like e e e and I was like what is e e e going on here oh it makes sense this is so beautiful the first stars will be coming out soon <gasps> oh no I have to go Tomorrow we're hunting the Coulabre! Coulabre. Listen to yourself. It sounds like I was a monster. I worked, Fabrice, and oh my god, who says that to their mother? What has Mimi got to do with this? She's independent, and she's having fun here. Hey, sweetie, you're back. How about some cocoa outside? Uh, yeah, I was reading you on the garden table. Third week, time really flies. Hello again, this is Mimi, extraordinary reporter. What? What's going on? Grandma! We wanted to have a discussion with you today about a difficult topic. Hmm? Difficult topic? <clears throat> yes, the people of France want to know. 
Want to know what? Mimi, I was sleeping. It's 4 p.m. It's snack time. Where are the cookies? Mm, cookies. The cookies? You promised us cookies. I... <laughs> this is really good journalism. Waking me up from my nap and screaming in my ears. Grandma! <laughs> fine, fine. Let's make I get these cookies. oat and cranberry cookies to the kitchen. and they're so good. And drop that mic. I'm going to need your help to make them. That was Mimi, extraordinary reporter. That, and I actually really like a hazelnut cookie, which is like, I'm not big on nuts actually, but in cookies is nice. I'd, I'll have pistachios, I'll have cashews, like honey roasted jumbos, but you know, I say I'm not big on nuts, but I, I just don't have them that often. Fruit and nut chocolate too is nice. Where are you, grandma? Sneaky. You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts. Before leaving here, I should leave a picture to grandma. I'm guessing it's like we were here for a month, I guess, for the summer, so it's three weeks. It's maybe our final week here. What did she say? Oh, meet outside, okay. I remember now. So forgetful. It was so much better outside. Yeah, and it's pretty cool to sit down. It's very chilly. Better make sure you don't catch a cold. Thank you, Grandma. This scarf is so soft. You sneaked out today. I should be cross with you. But you aren't. No. Nope. As long as you answer three of my questions. Where did you go? I went... on an adventure. A cave. A cave? There's lots of them around here. But why? To discover stuff. Discover? That's a big word. I like it. More importantly, how did you feel about today? Important? Important. I love that. I feel important too whenever I'm on my own and living my own life. Hmm. Should I punish you? Let me think. Grandma, please be nice to me. I'll be nice. You can explore and travel the world as much as you want, as long as I know you're safe. Thank you. Grandma? Yes? Can we invite... Um... How was your day? I slept all day, I think. I don't know why I was so tired. Probably that long, long book I'm trying to finish. And the main character, she is... Oh, God... The writer's never met a woman, trust me. <laughs> Classic. Look at that picture. Beautiful. I am alone. And I like it. To get lost. How enjoyable. I've seen like that it just ends with I have seen the Calubre with my own eyes. There we go. Wonderful. Let's put a sticker of our little friend in. And the sound. The Calubre.
it's kind of set like you realize coming back into this adult side of things how the color is not here in the garden in the imagery like everything looks kind of drained and not as sort of bright and saturated it's all just very gloomy but it's like still beautiful you know it's still beautiful but you realize compared to the childhood pages it's gloomy looking for the scarf could be upstairs six missed calls from who I always click that picture thinking I need to, to walk up. When are you back? The weekend might be our last chance for Bellinis. I'd, I'll keep you updated. Back off, Dom. It's so quiet. Looks like she had time before she... Let's find the scarf. Grandma and Grandpa moved here in the 50s. Dad was six or seven. There it is. Renault's watch. He probably gave it, so... Turn. Oh, the watch. The watch. It's at the centre of whatever happened between... them. Wait. I, I remember. The watch. Nora, Renault. to make sure. Nobody cares about me. I'll stay here, I think. Hey, let's continue our search tomorrow, okay? Yeah, sure. Um, Grandma? 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 Uh, uh. <sighs> what? Oh. Can we invite my friend here? Please say yes. He's all alone, and he'll be hungry. Uh, yes, of course. Why don't we have a picnic outside? It's so beautiful. And we can make something easy to eat. A picnic! That's a brilliant idea! Yeah! Help me with the food for the picnic. Prepare a picnic. Mum never lets me cook at home. Don't worry, I'll guide you. I'm happy to introduce you to Renaud. Renard. I can't wait to meet Renard. I don't know which I don't know how to say that name, so I'll just keep changing it. Okay, chop him 
map. Cooking sim. He, he's a bit wild. I don't have any other friends like that. Wild. I hope he's nice. Uh, oh, he is. The secret to this recipe is lots of heat and lots of fat. The fatter, the merrier. Making me hungry. I don't know why I just tried to like reach into there with my hand. Uh, that might be enough fat. <laughs> Let's season everything. Salt and pepper. I'm glad I found a friend here. Not that I don't want to spend, you know, spend time with you. I understand, sweetie. It's normal to have a friend your age. I love Peppa. That's good. Even if I can tell he has problems with his parents. One more reason to invite him. That's an upsault. Into the pan. Shake them, zhuzh them, move them around, keep it going until they're brown, nice and crispy. You did great. Let's hurry. Follow me. Wait, we already listened to that one. Why did it give me a tape then? Off to have a picnic. If you go down in the woods today, you'll show for a big surprise. Do -do 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 -do. She put up with me and my ideas. I think she enjoyed it. It must be so refreshing to have someone like that in your life. Someone who says yes to all your stupid totally. ideas. All your whims. So yes to my stupid ideas and whims of uh, hitting that like and subscribe to support this channel and this video, you know, if you've made it this far. Hit that like button and subscribe for more playthroughs. Just like this. Got loads like this. Snack. Snack. Snack attack. Here we go. This is really cool, Grandma. Shouldn't you call for your friend? Right. I'll call him from the bottom of the cliff. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Ah, uh, yoo-hoo! I brought lunch. Come on. Why don't you grab some pine cones? We can decorate the picnic. You'll love it. <laughs> Enough glue. <laughs> so. Here's my little pine cone person.
Oh wait, I can rotate. Oh no. I did it. I don't know why I thought I was just gonna squeeze glue all over it. There we go. It's Mike Wazowski. It's easier because you want to do it. You must be right. My friend will be here soon. Let's get the food. I guess we're ready. Mimi, he's here. Hi. Hello. Renal, this is my grandma, Nora. Hello, Renal. Uh, I ran as fast as I could. You didn't have to. We bought some food, but why don't you take a picture first? <laughs> Cute. Got a nice one. And this time you're not all blurry. Before you called me, I'm pretty sure I saw something in the water. Did you scream? I did, but I think your scream is much better. What are you hunting, kids? The Calubre. Of course. Do you think we've got a chance? It can't run away forever, Mimi. Mimi and I could easily catch it. I've no doubt you'll succeed. When we catch it, I hope everybody will see me pull the serpent out of the water. Hungry. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah. Didn't have any breakfast. It's the most important meal of the day. What do you think of my decorations? Pretty cool, right? I like the cones. Feels like I've seen them somewhere. Do they not remember each other? Like, there's a picture of him, he's a baby. Like, no one's remembering anything. I know you're a bit stressed about my secret friend, Grandma. I was curious, that's all. Is everything okay? It is. Yes, it is. Let's enjoy the picnic. What's... Do you know each other? We do, sweetie. It's all about the watch. What are you talking about? A thief and a liar. It's not true. Nobody believes me. Here, yeah. I don't care about this stupid watch. Stop. You shouldn't play with thieves. He didn't steal the watch. He told me he didn't. Why would he lie? Nora knew Renault. And he knew my grandfather. Renault. Something bad had happened between them. I see it now. I ran so fast. And for so long. I wasn't angry anymore. I just felt empty. And sad. Why? Why? I'm so sick of this family. I must calm down. I must calm down. The binder. Good idea, Mania. Good idea. The good photo. Wasn't a great, I would say, first impression, but you'd already know each other. They know each other. They share. A secret. I'm not going to call him a thief. I have a secret friend. I feel the storm brewing. Random pinecone. Tell me 
a secret. World. Mm -hmm. Got that tea after all. An alarm? What's that? A fire alarm? Oh, let's check. something on the burner? Nothing. Strange. It's not coming from the kitchen. It's somewhere in here. I remember Grandma's favourite movie was something called Playtime. So many faces. What's this? Flooding in the Dodoin, August 1982. It's the last time I was here. Oh no. Did I bang my head or something in the flood? Yo, floods are scary. If you're somewhere where there's like, can be proper powerful floods, that's like, oof. He flung the watch on the ground. Everything seems to be in working order, but the battery must have dropped out. I'll find another one at the market. You can do it, Mimi. Now it's all gloomy here. Grandma snoozing. Thinking out. No. Was it this way? This is the way to the kayak, so maybe it was the market up this way? No, that's just a view. Okay, I do have to go this way. Sorry. The rain changed how the world looked. I remember the smell, the mud, the path I once knew like the back of my hand was different. I only had one thing in mind, fixing the watch, fixing Leno and Nora. Oh, no. Oh, 
What's this place? <laughs> Cute. I can actually go straight, it's just it made me want to skip around like that. Obviously, we know we're in the future that nothing bad happens to us, right? I think the kids watching for the dragon sees us go in and saves us. That's my prediction. Because he says he's always watching the river. jump start. didn't do it on purpose. I get it. I don't blame you. Could you please? I 
think I remember. Cute. Mimi! Nice Mimi! big fantastical beat. Oh, they were watching. Oh no! Mimi! The thing is the uh, Renault. I should really be taught in school, shouldn't it? Everyone should know it. I drowned here. Almost died. Forgot everything. The last words. bring anyone or anything back, but... Wait, what's that noise? Maybe an animal? Let's find it. It's Renault. He's just been living out here for the last 20 years. What? Wait. Dreaming? It is Renault! <laughs> Is that you? Les, hello Mimi. I still sound like this, it's fine. <clears throat> Nora took care of me after your accident this past few months. I've been taking care of her. Exactly. Oh, he looks really sweet. You were here for her. And he has the box. Were you there when Nora passed away? I was. She wasn't alone. She was surrounded by friends. She had a life full of good things, away from her family. Away from you. She refused to go against your father's decision. My father, he... Nora. She forgave him in the end. Because of what happened. I had to tell you something. I think I saw the Calubre underwater. It was a dream, but... Riddle was something. 
I'm glad you remember that bit at least. It wasn't your fault. I went down the river by myself. It's fine. Nora helped so many people around here. Myself included. It's all behind us. She left you this box. She wanted me to give it to you. <laughs> it's literally the, the one that I made. What? My mess of a pine cone. <gasps> Tapes. Explorer pack. A binder. Everything happened centuries ago. It did. And yet, it feels so close, I can still feel the summer sun. What's this letter? I don't remember writing any of that summer. Nora left you it. Read it. You'll understand how she felt. Dear Mimi, I could be writing about how much I miss our days together. I could be crying and going on about how beautiful that summer was and what the following summers would have been like. The years after your father took you away and protected you from me were difficult and lonely. I won't lie about that. I kept thinking about the things I should have done, the things I should have said. But the past is the past. What's done is done. Oh, Mimi, my dear Mimi. I wish I could say these words to you in person, rather than in a letter. I told you once, places, objects, people have many different lives. Life is a long and precious story, so you have to write your own. Explore your life like a beautiful valley on a hot summer's day. Record the colors and the sounds around you like you did back then. Are you sure it's the same cat? 100% sure. I swear. Take a deep breath before every challenge and after every success. Cats are magical. And more importantly, tell everyone about life, about the highs and the lows. Share it without holding back. My dearest Mimi, I'm sorry. I'm grateful. I'm leaving happy. Your Nora. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't have to read that letter. Ah, oh, but it made it even worse. That was really moving. She moved in. She's gonna live her life happily in the valley now. That was a really beautiful game. Beautiful to look at and a really nice story as well. Definitely got me at the end. I don't know why. It wasn't even like that sad, but it's just, you know, memories, nostalgia, and the fact that it's like bittersweet that they the dad forbid her from going back there, I guess, blamed the mom, and they didn't have a great relationship anyway. But then the grandma kind of stepping in for Renault and taking care of him and him taking care of her. It's all just very nice. Really, really beautiful. I enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Click one of those videos on the screen to go on another adventure and make sure you hit that like and subscribe and leave me a comment if you enjoyed this one. Good night.